doesn't love the wild ride of the Silicon Valley housing market? Well, if you're a first time home buyer, it's probably not a ton of fun until you actually own your home. I want to hear your thoughts, feedback and experiences in the comments below, whether you're a buyer, a homeowner or you're in the real estate industry yourself. I'm Shannon Ellison, sales manager of the Walker team of Ontario Real Estate right here in Silicon Valley. To start, home buyers haven't gone into winter hibernation mode yet. Our team is experiencing a significant boom in new and motivated buyers entering the market daily. And ready? We even have a new segment of the market that has caught fire. Currently, we have 1,038 homes for sale and 633 pending sales, an absorption rate that has stayed pretty consistent at 61% meaning that we are still seeing six out of every 10 homes that are selling across the county. If you regularly follow my updates, you know that there's always a deeper story when discussing the microclimates, and we've got a real mover and shaker this month. Let's talk a couple of others before we get to that particular one though. Entry level single family homes saw both their inventory and pending sales drop by 18% and 16% respectively, with their absorption rate up slightly to 82%. This segment of the market is still on fire and seeing multiple offers left and right. The move up homes, think 3 million and up, watched their available inventory decrease 9%, while still pending sales lower 10%, keeping their absorption rate at 34% month over month. Now this month, we're gonna split the condos and townhomes in our discussion as there's quite a bit of separation between the two segments. The condo market has continued to be very stagnant with a low 42% absorption rate and nearly 300 active listings. On top of that, 111 of those listings had price reductions. Selling a condo in this market, especially a one or two bedroom, can be quite challenging. However, the big mover is the townhome segment. With 87 active listings and 76 pending listings, this market is thriving at an 87% absorption rate. Now, why is that? Simply put, as entry level single family home prices keep rising, many home buyers are shifting their attention to townhomes to still get the living area and the square footage while maybe sacrificing yard space. This market is also highly competitive right now. So what's next? Although we will continue to see a decrease in new listings, inventory, and subsequently pending sales over the holidays, I can offer a tease of what we might see in 2024. It's kind of like the trickle down theory. The same basic concept applies to housing. When a separation is created between these two housing stepping stones, they'll eventually adjust. The lower price segments will catch up in value due to future homeowners making sacrifices to get into the Silicon Valley market. And the higher level homes adjust their course up due to the step up homes gaining equity, providing those buyers with more purchase power. Next, things to keep an eye on. If you enjoy my educational market videos, before the end of the year, I'll be sharing a summary of my 2023 predictions, where was I right, where was I wrong, as well as releasing the 2024 market predictions. Be sure to follow me on YouTube to see them as soon as they hit. As always, I'm Shannon with the Walker Team of Ontario here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Happy holidays. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my Happy <God>. holidays. <laughs>